polygenetic theories can be contrasted with monogenetic theories as we've already discussed that polygenesis uh, view polygenesis genesis views of uh, origin of pigeons and creoles claim that pigeons and creoles are, are all european based languages and they were all um, newly created in different parts of the world which means that um, they arose uh, from uh, various sources not one source can be accounted for their origin but they um, uh, originated in different parts of the world whereas um, monogenesis claims that all pigeons and creoles which are used in the world originated from a single source one of uh, monogenetic theories is ephrogenesis hypothesis it was presented by mcwater in 1995 um according to this hypothesis a single source accounts for the similarities as i've already said that we find in um, most of the pigeons and creoles in the world uh, to understand this this origin or this hypothesis uh, we will have to go back to the beginning of the pigeonization process in uh, slave forts on the coast of um, african countries um after um, many european countries established colonies in caribbean countries and um, american different parts of america they started sugar plantation etc for which they needed labor and they used these african people as uh, slaves to work uh, as laborers on those plantations so what they did was they would uh, kidnap these african people sometimes even from their homes uh, during night etc and transport them to uh, caribbean countries or wherever um, this kind of labor was needed before they were transported to um, the uh, uh, lands where sugar plantations um, existed they were kept on the coast in prison waiting for the ships to arrive which would transport them to uh, different parts um, where they were needed sometimes ships would take um, many months to arrive and these people were kept in um, uh, prisons which now we call slave forts um the the slave traders made sure that the people who were kept in one prison spoke different languages as we know that africa is a multilingual um is a continent which includes countries which are multilingual just as pakistan is a multilingual country so there there may be people who live in the same country but speak different languages so these slave traders made sure that the people who were kept in one prison did not speak the same language of course to avoid a uh, rebellion against them or any attempts to run away and escape from the prisons so these people spoke uh, different languages but when they were kept together for months cause they they needed to communicate with each other and they devised simplified languages for this purpose so according to this hypothesis uh, pigeons and creoles developed as contact languages in these slave forts an evidence which is used in support of this hypothesis is the relative paucity of uh, spanish based creoles and pigeons it is because spain did not have uh, many large uh, slave um, forts it was because spain um, started this uh, plantation business much later than other european countries and they did not really use labor intensive um um farming which means they did not really know, need a lot of labor so therefore they did not kidnap these poor african people and use them as slaves since they were not um kept together uh by spanish people uh therefore we have fewer pigeons which have spanish as um its basis so according to this hypothesis um pigeons and creoles uh, originated from these slave forts as contact languages